Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Got another knife review for you today from the budget side of the house. Today we're going to be talking about the Fuhong RR521. Uh, this knife comes to me, well, I bought it off of Amazon, but uh, Jimmy Slash pointed it out to me a while back. He's like, hey man, I found a red knife for you. <laughs> and there happened to be a Vipon on it. So I was like, I took a look at it, it's like, hmm, kind of hemmed and hawed about it. And I was like, all right, no problem. I believe they were selling, well, they are selling for $11.99. And I think the Vipe one was like $5 off. So it ended up being $6.99. I was like, all right, seven bucks, I'll give it a shot. Who knows? Maybe it's like the Kubi. It's a hidden gem. We'll see. Like I said, the Fuhong RR521. This has some pretty cool aluminum red scales over a stainless steel frame. It's got a fairly deep carry pocket clip on it. Black stainless. Right hand tip down carry only. And you'll see it does come with a glass breaker and the seat belt cutter cord cutter it's got a four and a half inch close length that does not include the glass breaker if you did include the glass breaker you're looking about what four and five eighths not quite four and three quarter manual dual thumb stud opening Opens pretty smooth. Runs on nylon washers. And it is a liner lock. We'll definitely be talking about that. You get a three and a half inch, three CR13 MOV Tanto blade. Satin finish. Three and a quarter cutting edge. Got a seven and seven eighths inch open length on it. And could not verify the fact, but I'm pretty sure it's made in China. We'll get a weight and stuff on it. So, it is flashy red. I dig that red. So, 4.3 ounces or 121 grams. So, not too bad as far as weight goes. I've been carrying it. Last two or three days. It's not bad in the pocket at all. Uh, let's get you some. We've got to be fair to it. We've got to do our measurements. Every knife gets its shot, right? 0.44. So not bad across the spine. That's pretty good. And at its widest point, I'm going to go right here. You're looking at about 1. 1.12, 1. 1.11, so not too bad. So my take on it, guys. Well, I got it in hand, played around with it. I can tell, tell you right now, it is not the next Kubi knife. I, I'm, if you haven't seen my Kubi reviews, I, it, and aren't familiar with Kubi knives, they are some really, really, really good budget knives from China. I mean, ball bearing pivots, decent steel. Some of them aren't great steel. I mean, 8CR14, I got one that's 5CR15. They're not great blade steels, but not bad. They'll hold an edge for a while. But. Back to the Fu Hong. Feels pretty good in hand for the most part. And what I mean by that is when you get a hold of it and you get a really good grip on it, I don't know if you can see there, but that liner lock is raised up pretty high. Not to mention, I haven't 
I tend not to alter the knives before I review them. I do my best not to. Because then it's an altered knife. And have I re I've reviewed a couple of modded knives on loan. But the knives I have here, I try not to mod at all before I show them to you. So you can get the full, full aspect of it. But anyway, say so that top tooth on that liner is really dang sharp. Can you fix it? Sure you can. Little Dremel, you know, yeah, you can knock that tooth down for sure. But this is right out of the box type stuff we're talking about here. You grab it and you go to grab it and that, that thing will poke your finger. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but where I've been grabbing it, I mean, there's, there's some decent red marks on my fingers. Um, other than that, the grippability portion of it, it's aluminum. It's, it's slippery. <laughs> it is. Like I said, the action, I mean, the action for the nylon washers isn't bad. I mean, it's not going to. It's not fall and shut or anything, don't get me wrong. And like I said, I have not carried it too much. But I mean, let's see, oh there. I don't even can see on that corner. But I mean the paint, the paint's starting to wear. You know. So, there again, it's a $7 knife. This is what I expect a $7 knife to be. Not our Kubi 088. You know, those are $10. And they're well beyond their value at 10 bucks. But I pretty much classify, you know, we all talk about gas station knives. Well, I pretty much classify this as a gas station knife. So let's see here. Mm, there's a tad bit of play. yeah there's a there's play in it there's a little bit of play in it no rock that liner I mean she does lock over there pretty well we're <laughs> we're pushing 50 to 60 percent so blue gave it a 6.5 And like I said, I mean, it's got a, I mean, it, it's what I expect a $7 knife to be, you know. Blue gave it a 6.5. It's a knife. It's got a blade. It opens. It'll cut. It was actually, it's actually fairly, it's decently sharp out of the box. I really do like the, the I do like the pocket clip on it. As far as the deep carry aspect of it, that's pretty good. Not an overly stout clip. It comes in and out of the pocket pretty easily. Oh, the other thing on this, sorry. There's no, there's no detent on this knife. There's, no. No, there's no detent whatsoever. I mean, you can pretty much. So yeah, this is what I expect a $7 knife to be. But like I said, if you really wanna check it out for yourself, they're available on Amazon for $11.99 in green, black, and red. I would suggest, if you have to get this knife, look for a Vipon on it, like I got on it, and I got it for $6.99. My true recommendation is, save your $11, go buy a Kubi. You'll be much, much happier. But there you go, guys. Hey, and the whole reason why I'm carrying this knife for this long, and I had to give it its due because uh, over on the sharp spot, they started, JR started a, a challenge. He's always doing challenges. He's got a lot of fun challenges that he does. And his, the last challenge was show me your not so fab five knives. And this one pretty much was the king of the not so fab five. Um, and part of the challenge was you had to pick one and carry it for. 48 hours, which I have done. 
and I've carried the knife that long. I've invested that time in it. You know what? I'm going to do a review on it. They can't all be sunshine and roses, right? There, there's got to be a not so great one in the batch. And in my opinion, the Fu Hong RR521 is that one. <laughs> so my recommendation is save your $6.99 or $11.99. Go buy yourself a Kubi. Go put it towards a Rough Rider. Save it up for pretty much any other knife. And avoid the Fu Hong altogether. Just me, but that's that's kind of my, my take on the knife, guys. But there you go. Like I said, they can't all be sunshine and roses. This is the not rose. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Until next time, remember, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I love talking to y'all. And until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.